my fellow citizens and youths of Sierra Leone, I come to you on my knees to beg you to join me to declare war against Kush in Sierra Leone. Kush is the state of our nation for our young men and women who we have failed in many aspects and now we choose to exploit them financially for riches in exchange for their deaths. Kush had the legacy of the Madabio government. We don't fail. The youths of this country. And in return, we don't allow Kush for slowly poison our entire Sierra Leone. The genocide of a nation, the murder of our youths by those who are selling Kush for financial gains, the manslaughter of our beloved green, white, and blue, and suicide by the vulnerable youths of Salyon who continue to fail. And in the wake, we leave mothers crying at night and in the morning and the evening for sons and daughters that will never come home. All because of Kush. 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 The death of our nation, Sarah. Some may ask, what is Kush? Kush, a synthetic drug laced with chemicals like formaldehyde, with the use for preserve dead body, chlorine bleach, and other poisonous plants, and also in Sierra now that the crush human bones and mix them with diamba and they give it to our youth to smoke. And when they inhale this toxic poison, it freezes the brain functions. It slows down the heartbeat and the pulse. It paralyzes all extremities. It blurs their vision and speech. And it puts the youth in a comatose state for 12 to 36 hours based on the dose. Because of the toxic chemicals there, like formaldehyde, whether for use for preserve the, the body, he begin for fight the living skin of the youth then and turn it into salt and ulcers. And then he begin for dry the skin of a living person and shrink them to their untimely death. Citizens of Sierra Leone, now this we don't tolerate, now Sierra Leone. And it must stop and must stop immediately. Because the government don't fail for address the issue of Kush when they kill with youth step, now Sierra Leone. And so we will say the government is responsible 
for Cush and the spread of Cush and the deaths and untimely deaths and paralysis of young men and women as Sahelian. So let, let me analyze how Cush the Kaisai Sahelian. And who is responsible for Kush the Kansai Saralio? So Kush the only Kansai Saralio, the synthetic drug from China, in three ways. One through Wataki, two through Lunge Airport, and three through the borders, Liberia and Saralio, and Guinea. Those are the only entry points for bringing Kushka and Saisali. So let's look at Wataki. Who did I get money for bring a container of Kush and Saisali? Who did go get money? Not to the youths the way they use up. They not get money for other synthetic drugs from China and South America and bring them by container and Saisali. Now somebody will get money. And if you get money self in Sierra Leone, you can't just order Kush in Sierra Leone and bring them inside because they inspect them by customs in Wataki and with security personnel in Wataki, they're supposed for stopper. But because of bribery and corruption and political power, it tells you that the people that they bring Kush in Sierra Leone and Wataki are rich people who are connected politically and get power. And with the corruption and bribery where they take place with our customs and our security personnel, push the past now attacking. So not a poor man game and a gang, they do that. Let me look at the airport, Lunge Airport, that the brain can buy suitcases. Poor man on the fly, can a Lunge. If you fly inside Lunge by plane or by helicopter, you have to have authorization for let customs not look your suitcase and the security personnel at Lunge turn a blind eye. So either by corruption or bribery or say turn a blind eye, we are bringing in Kush through our airport. Then the third piece, not through Guinea or Liberia. The other than go inside Guinea and Liberia and take Lori Briancar. Still, we get customs personnel at the borders. Their jobs are for inspect goods the way they come inside the country. But we allow push for car inside the country and our government, they turn a blind eye. Then go say them people there, something are corrupt and corrupt. Something that make we not see the kush with the kind side, or it's not important. But I tell you, if na ammunition, me they can't throw wataki and bullet and gun. They can't throw lunge, bullet and gun. They can't throw guinea, bullets and gun. They can't throw Liberia, bullets and gun they would have apprehended all the dealers, all the people were involved, and charged them with treason or conspiracy against the government. So we call upon the Bureau government to do the same right now. All those people bringing Kush into our country through Wataki, through Lunge, and through the borders, we have to uphold the government accountable to charge them for conspiracy, for manslaughter, for murder, and for aiding and abetting suicides of innocent youths in Sierra Leone. And we have to hold them accountable, Mr. President. Failure to do that, it shows that either the government is involved or the government don't care. And so we, the people of Sierra Leone, we don't decide say the government not care. We are going to be vigilant in our respective communities to take care of this push 
that will be beautiful Mama Salon and to put an end on it. So, we, the people of Sierra Leone, we are going to now wage a war against Kush because we know that those who benefit from the Kush will not fight against Kush Nasaralio. And so we are going to take it upon ourselves. You know, you ask yourself, who signed with Parliament Day? We do not pass laws to address this epidemic where they kill Saralio. Who signed with politicians the day where they see we youth that they die? And no aggressor. Who signed leaders like Kendi Yumkela the day? We don't able to address the youth use of Kush, Master Ali. Who signed Kendi Yumkela day where youths of Cambia are dying in the numbers from Kush? Kendi Yumkela, where are you? What are you doing to lead and help this government fight against Kush? People of Sierra Leone, the war against Kush is the people's war. The war against Kush is the people's war against the powerful and the rich using their power to kill the youths of Sierra Leone. So we say to you, save the nation. The war against Kush is a war against genocide. It's the war against murder, it's the war against manslaughter, it's the war against suicide. The war against Kush is a just war. And a war we will win because we are Sierra Leoneans. We care for our youths and we love our country. So I call upon you, the communities, to take control of your communities, your villages, your towns, your districts and region to drive the merchants of death away those who sell kush and kill people in your community. If kush were guns and bullets, the problem would be solved. But because kush, not to God, not to bullets, we have to fight it ourselves. We have to fight it ourselves. We have to be vigilant to fight Kush in our respective communities. We have to shame those who sell Kush and those who use Kush. But as you go through this process, to be vigilant, do it peacefully and not with violence. Use the arms of the law to reach out to get these people arrested and put them out of business. And focus, and focus on protecting your communities, your towns, your villages, your chiefdoms, your district and your region for us to build a better salary for our youths who are dying. God bless you and God bless our beautiful Mama Salam.